any day now. I mm-hmm. think they might have a little bit of issues. And they won't be back till late July, early August. But the in- but like I said, the intention is to fly around the world, not nonstop, but around the world without a drop of fuel. Nice. Which I thought was pretty incredible, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. I, I'm interested to see how far we can actually take solar power. Mm-hmm. Um, I think solar power charging electric devices. I mean, l- l- let's take a look around, everyone. You're on a tablet, you're on a phone, I'm on a laptop, I have a phone in my pocket, Sorig has a small menagerie of various <laughs> electronics around him right now. All of this stuff is all power driven, right? Mm-hmm. If we can get to a point where we can actually draw that we can actually draw solar power in a meaningful way and charge things like electric vehicles and charge all of these various devices that we have. I mean, to, it, Apple just invested, what was it, $86 billion? Mm-hmm. Some significant sum of money to build a giant, giant fo- solar farm out in California that's going to power. Just, just to power their own data centers. Mm-hmm. Da- that's data center, incredible. It's capable of powering the data center, the stores, and the Apple offices. Any Basically, any Apple operation in California. And well, that's the other thing is, that, like, basically, they'll they'll generate and, and they'll get credits. Yes. Which will apply to everything they do yeah and and they and somebody asked at one of their shareholder meetings and this is actually more not just tim cook saying it for this but for other things um they said you know are you really sure you should be doing this you know can we find things that offer more value and he said if you're looking for like roi and things like that mm-hmm. when we're trying to do things that'll change the world get the hell out of our stock yeah. He actually said that on a, on a on a shareholder earnings call. Yeah. Um, I think this, and he actually said with this one though, they eventually are going to hit a uh, a savings because they're like, hey, if what if we get to the point where we're breaking even or making money on power, yeah, we'll be fine. Don't worry, we're gonna have to spend a lot of money to build this thing. They did it in uh, Made in North Carolina, so the one that runs iCloud that's down in North Carolina, which is a big big building that I've driven by a couple times. Um, it is. Uh, it is, it is a large solar farm that's right next door that drives the entire data center. They don't draw off of it. They have uh, hydrogen fuel – or no, natural gas fuel cell and solar power wow. that powers that entire data center. They don't draw off the regular grid. So they can – they if the entire power grid goes out down there, iCloud will still be there. <laughs> In the apocalypse. iCloud will still be there. It will ask for your password 800 times. <laughs> but it will be there. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. Katie, you got an app for this week? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Yes, it's a, so.